Hi, I go by the name MS to the T and the ARM Star Bryant. This is The Grill on TSL Nigeria TV. Today on The Grill, as usual, we have another wonderful guest. Well, this time, he's still in the entertainment industry and uh, he's known for a whole lot of things. I can call him a serial entrepreneur, but I'll allow him to do the honors. We have on the go today, Liquid Mix. Liquid, what's happening? Yeah, thank you, Mr. for having me. Uh, it's good to, I'm very good. It's good to have you here. I've been trying my best to get you here. I, th I think we've had a conversation like this before, but let's just leave that out of the book. Yeah. <laughs> so let's just get down to it. Liquid Mix. Everybody knows you as Liquid Mix. Um, a wonderful producer. A wonderful artist, but what is the actual name? Okay, gift of your born. Gift. Yeah. What state? Delta State. Hmm. Of course, Delta. Delta State, the big heart. The big heart. <laughs> what part exactly? What exact part of Delta? From Abbo. Abbo. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. So, how long have you been doing music? Generally. Now let's talk. Now let's not talk about okay, production. Okay. Gener okay. Generally. Or. Uh, Music, music has been like long life, it has been long span. Yeah. Since let's say primary six, if I can remember. Whoa. But not production. Not production. We said music. Yeah, in general, yeah. Primary six. As I said, playing my keyboard, my piano, and the rest. Then, um, the w name Liquid Mix. How did you come about it? The name Liquid Mix. Uh, the name I coined the name in two thousand and uh, I think it was around twelve. Mm. How do that names I was using? For uh, can mix. we hear some of those other <laughs> names? Like maybe <laughs> two or one of them. <laughs> come on, come on, bear. Give us the let's 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 laugh a little. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> help us, help us out. Uh, answered Eric. Mm? Of course, I don't know what that. Henrik. L lyric. That's L lyric. L yes. Oh, L lyric. Yes. As an L classico, L yes, patron. Yes, yes, uh, yes. L lyric. I saw some funny names though. <laughs> I but have I, a feeling you're keeping the really, really funny one. Yeah, leave, leave, that, leave that one for me. <laughs> okay, Liquid Mix. Uh, well, here in Edo State, Benin City, yeah. most especially in particular, uh, you're known as a wonderful producer. Even as much as we do know, you recently dropped an EP. We'll get to that soon. But how has producing for you been like? And how long have you been doing it? It's been fun. I started um, doing production for Ray in 2011, no, 2008, yes. That's when I got to start using my laptop, using softwares, play with sounds, 2008, yes. But I've been playing the keyboard, game for church gigs and the rest. But and how really has it been? How's the experience been? It's been fun, just that as time goes on, gone taxing not be like your regular kind of um, maybe something to do for recursion activities but yeah. now it's for this job it's, it's a job, work yeah. so but normally it's fun normally it's fun it's fun but when you have clients on your neck and you have to meet up it becomes work yeah i know about that <laughs> tell me i put you on that shoes before <laughs> okay uh throughout it, as time goes on well a lot of people have actually said yeah. Your relationship with Rema, uh, for those who don't know, uh, you were one of the first producers to actually work with Rema before he got signed to the, uh, is it the Mavens? Yeah? Yes, Maven. Uh, not that I was the first producer. Major producer. Yeah, major producer mm -hmm. because um, his works were, were from me to Maven. Yeah. Yes, so probably all the works he sent to Maven was from me. It was my works, so I, I actually talk with Tam Jai and Maven. So I send the jobs to them. And I for, and I also know um, uh, Rema is not just the only A-list artist you work with. You have actually done jobs for. Yes, yes. yes so yes. my question is, how is it for a producer? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How is it working with? them celebrities in terms of keeping up with deadlines and everything because most times you get 
you get pushed in with a whole lot of jobs at the same time, but you have yeah. to meet up with deadlines because EPs has to be dropped, tracks has to be dropped, albums have to be dropped. How 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 has it been? It's just it's just um, it's hectic where we have to see disappointments from. <laughs> you said you, you that's, say it like it's that's it has to happen. Uh, it, it, I, and like I'm taking I'm taking an interview now. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe if I wasn't here, yeah, I'd be mixing a job. You understand? Yeah. But it's not deliberate to actually disappoint or not get through. But we try our best to get through. We try our best to meet up deadlines. As I said before, like, it becomes work, not fun. Now, before yeah. before we head to your EP, the Regalo EP, yeah. mm, which I do know uh, a lot of people have been talking about it here in Benin City, especially one of the tracks which features uh, uh, Pape, that track. But yeah. before we get to that one yeah, exactly, right, why did you make up your mind to do your own thing in terms of making an EP? Well, it has always been my mind to express myself. Not necessarily always producing for people, giving their own ideas. I just, I just wanted to express myself, and it was, it was just on my mind, all true. And then, um, although I'm not, I'm not an artist, yeah. all right. I knew, I knew the pros and the cons. Okay. Stepping into pro producing songs for myself, I had to do some promotions. I have to do some word, some stuff. But I just felt like, okay, can I just do my own thing that I just like, and get some artists that I feel they are capable to jump on it and to my surprise it was accepted and there was a tweet Rema posted at a time i think uh, 28th of september to be exact right. where he let out some you know really really deep emotions he has already, he has always carried for a very long time okay um he also mentioned that uh due to the fact that uh his former uh producer he couldn't pay his former producer his work, uh, he had to push working with other producers, give it an open channel. Right. Now, it draws my question. When it comes to you producing for people, producing for artists, is it basically about making sure you get the money for them? Or is it mostly about making sure you can get the best out of the artist? And who knows? Make an actual, an actual A-lister or maybe a B-lister or C-lister or an actual artist of that person. Is it more than just, is it more than the money for you? That's the question. Okay, for you, Mstar, I'm always honest on your program yeah. and stuff. But yeah. um, I think for any producer that, that wants to make it, you should think of, of making money. It's not doing things for free. So even when Emma said he did not have money, it doesn't mean he did it for free. Yeah. It wasn't for free. Okay, Emma actually paid to get his jobs done. I just feel like he was letting some emotions out. You know, yeah. Then that, that, that's some kind of excitement that you get. Then it leads to an emotional outpour. Yeah. All right. I don't feel he was drunk because uh, I feel I've never seen him drink. Yeah. That's me. We have been very close. But the same kind of emotions that you like, I might be one that's here at this point. When you sit back and like, oh my God, I can. Just pour it out. Just pour some things out and nothing will okay. happen. You ah. get. Now, before you became, um, I, I still remember in uh, front of, uh, I think, uh, Uniben, yes, University yeah. of Benin, yes. when you worked with uh, Dockside. We still work. And you guys still work together? Yeah, we still work together. Wow. How's the competition? Is it still friendly? I need, uh, to, no, I need to ask no, that no, question. Not, <laughs> not, like when, not like when we were there. When we, when we were there, we had no competition. But right it now, was, how is it? It was zero competition because. We, we, we did all we could to, to monopolize Miniben okay. as a whole. So if you're, not doing, if you're doing your song with us, like you're not doing music. So we tried our best to do that. But now, Doc is in Lagos. Me, I'm off Lagos, Benin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, well, is it, it's, is it's, it it's competition? Time, it's, time, it's, time, it's time and stage and chance. I think there are other people coming up there, but... See, we still, we still have a share. We still have, we still have uh, a share. Uh, you guys still share the whole. We still crowd. have a share, <laughs> a major share. In what happens in Uniben? Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Uh, again, a big congratulations on your recent EP, Regalo. Thank you. And I would like to ask because uh, we do. On this, uh, I do remember. I think two weeks after the drop of the EP, it had up to ten thousand views on Audio Mac. Ten thousand. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. 
10,000 views on Abdul Mark. And that was here in Benin City, that is like the first time that is happening majorly. So how has it been? How has the impact of the EP to your fans, how has it been? Okay, the impact has been, has been nice, you know. Um, so many things happen when you drop a project. You have this fear that it may not be accepted and all that, but I was shocked that people really, you know, I did something that was my own thing. Yeah. So I was happy that people appreciated it. Um, it, has been, it has been nice because based on the EP I dropped, I, had, I have some, you know, artists that want to do EP, you know? They're like, okay, I like EP drop. I want, I want to do my own body of work. They wouldn't they won't have gone that far if there was not there was nothing like a that. sample yeah. for them to look like, okay, if this guy can do this stuff we for can himself, learn from this. Yeah, we can also meet the same person yeah. to do our own. So that's, that's, that's a major um, um, thing I see that I have a counter's gain. Then some popularity. People that don't, people that have not heard me before. Yes, but you spell the cool play sound. Yeah. Yes, Lagos, Abuja. Yeah, and I see were, your post. And they were playing it all <laughs> over. Yeah. And I was shocked. Without me even stressing like what all these guys do about promo, go Promotions, to move yeah. around, travel. I never did all that. The music traveled by itself, so. Wonderful. Wonderful. So, uh, should we be expecting anything in terms of uh, a video concerning that EP release? Uh, I, I won't, I'll be honest here. I don't think I'll do a video. Why? Why? Because I, I, I know someone has asked you that question before. I, I stick to being a producer because I'll be, I'll be diving too deep into... To, Come on, we have DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled is yeah, a yeah. DJ and a producer. That, that'll, be, that'll be for a future project. A future project? Yes, yes. Be and when should we be expecting that future project? Next year, next year, I will, I will do a, another version of Regalo and see the caliber of artists I can draw in. And then we can start talking about videos. This is, this is the first, this is just to test the waters. Okay, uh, before we head to the next segment, I'm just going to ask you this. Uh, your EP, the Regalo EP, gave a kind of open doors to some new acts people didn't know about. For yeah. example, King Pape. King Pape, most people really didn't know about his sound, but hearing him on your EP has given a whole lot of people a wider version or a wider understanding of how good his sound is. We used to be giving other artists that same avenue to showcase what they can do. Of in course, your of, of course, of course, because when I create the sound, I actually look for an artist that can fit into the sound, whether it's an upcoming whether it's an A list or B list, yeah. as long as you can fit into that particular um, um, instrumental, that particular creation, creation, I'm, I'm good. Okay. So I'm, I'm not going to bias about it. Maybe look for who is an A class or a B class just to know. So I, 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 I didn't say this is going to be the last question, but I need to ask you this. One. Okay. I don't know. It's been eating me up. How the lady's treating the whole music thing right now. <laughs> I can see the way he's smiling. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not the guy in court. You're not the guy. How? I don't. I don't get it. Please explain. You may be the guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you know how that oh. is. <laughs> okay, stick around. We'll be right back. And when we come back, we ask Liquid Miss to put him in a really, really hot seat. Don't touch it.
you are welcome back. It's still the girl on TSL Nigeria TV. We've been talking to Liquid Mix, and right now it's time we put him on the hot seat. He feels a question, it takes a really, really good food line, and uh, well, the apple to cool it down, right? So, Liquid, I'm just gonna ask you two riddles and basically some personal questions. Uh, are you ready? All right, whether you will or not, I'm still gonna ask. Not bad, lime is not bad. <laughs> How do you spell cow in 13 letters? 13 letters. Cow is three letters. Yeah. In 13 letters, how do you spell cow? Cow. Mm. Cow. Cow. Ah. You, we're actually on the clock. Since what? you don't know, we just... Cow is three letters. We put one in front. Have some food. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Right. Enjoy. Finish it, we need to, we, you need to finish it before we continue, right? <laughs> it's is not fair. Uh, yeah, life is but not how fair. Do you, okay, so how do you spell cow? I will tell you once you're done. Once I'm done with this. We're on the clock, please. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so how do you spell cow? It is how you spell cow. <laughs> Mary faces. <laughs> okay, C O W I C as in S E E O as in O double as in D O U B L E U Y O U C O W. Are we good? Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, so unfair. Oh boy. All right. So uh, I'm just going to ask you one more. I sometimes I'm born in silence. Other times, no. I'm seen, but I make my presence known. In time, I fade out without a trace. I am no one, but I am unpopular with what with all. What am I? You're doing too fast. Let me take that again. Let me also give me that line. Uh, slow down. Slow down. Sometimes I am born in silence. Okay. Other times, no, I am unseen. But I make my presence known. In time, I fade without a trace. I am, I am no one, but I am unpopular with all. What am I? So fake. So, so fake? You know, so broad. Uh, mm -hmm. so you, you, that's why you have, to, you, have, you have to take... I can't repeat it. So if you don't do it, you have to take some line. Ah. You know, I'm a producer. I'm not... I'm I don't listening. understand. <laughs> does that make any difference? Yes, Are you going to have the line? <laughs> all right. So, the please, actual please, how many answer... questions are these? <laughs> no, this is the last one, right? All right. <laughs> the actual answer is a fart, which in local... How do I get that? Mess. <laughs> it's that's, actually that's, a problem. That's, 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 that's <laughs> not impossible to get. It's not impossible, right? I, I, want, to say, I want to say breeze. Breeze. But I, I know breeze can harm somebody. This is too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just going to give you three very personal questions. Are you ready? Okay, personal question. Ah, uh, yeah. It's just the do's or don'ts. Are you ready? Okay. Thank okay. You. Uh, your friend invites you for dinner. What do you bring? Friends invite me for dinner. Hey, the girl, the ones inviting me. I yeah. Bring my, what bring, do you bring? It's your kind of thing. I bring myself. Uh, just yourself. And dress well. And dress well. Yeah. Some people will say they bring an actual bottle of wine, but well, who knows? Uh, craziest place you've ever had sex? Craziest place. Mm -hmm. Uh. Um, and, and, and I think it was in Lagos. I think it was a club. I'm not asking, okay, in a club. Uh, I think that club was crazy. <laughs> man, you bored, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. That club was crazy. What body parts are you most proud of? Proud of? My hands. Your hands. Okay, finally, we need you to say the pledge, the Nigerian pledge. Hey! <laughs> I pledge in Nigeria, my country, mm -hmm. to be faithfully honest. Okay. To serve Nigeria with all my strength. Okay. To defend her unity, mm. uphold. <laughs> okay, I'm in a, I'm a hosting, but as long as I said this thing, so help me God. <laughs> I think that's all we can take today on the grill. All right, Thank we've you. had uh, we've had liquid mix on the hot seat.
well, I pledge Nigeria, my country, to be faithful, definitely loyal and honest. And make sure you also pledge to stay loyal to TSN Nigeria TV because more wonderful episodes are coming in. Till when next we see, I remain your one and only MSDT and the ARM star Bryant. Have a great day. Stay connected to TSL Nigeria and get updates on the go all day, every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel on TSL Nigeria Space TV and join our online family.